In this episode, I review seven websites of the day of the week 36 of 2020 for your inspiration. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the digital alchemist, and in this episode, we review seven websites of week 36 of 2020. Now, please bear in mind that in no way am I actually suggesting that these are the best websites in the world. What I'm actually reviewing is seven websites that were awarded the Website of the Day Award on the award website, but sometimes it will be on different similar galleries. But for this past week, which is week 36 of 2020, it was the awards website. Now, as usual, these are my own opinion and you are entitled to your own. I will give you my number one at the end of this video, but I encourage you to actually write down which one you prefer before I actually give you the verdict. And of course, I'd be interested to know which one you prefer and why. Okay, what's up when it comes to website design for week 36 of 2020? And as a reminder, it goes from Monday the 31st of August to Sunday the 6th of September. So let's start with TWKS from Canada. And this is it. So right out of the bat, you can notice the big bold font, the video, and this is completely synchronized with 2020's trends. Now, if you missed the first episode, I talked about it, but I released a video called uh, Web Design Trends 2020, something like that, that, you can find on the channel. And basically when I review those websites, I always try to uh, also look at, does it match this year's trends? And the thing is, even though I'm not a fan of some of the, those trends, they implemented the design really well if you compare it to uh, this year's trends. Now, that being said, you don't have to agree with everything. You don't have to love everything. And I don't like asymmetrical design. So here, in my opinion, it's all over the place. But once again, I'm, I'm rem uh, uh, rambling at this point, but it works well with this year's trends. So they did a good job on that. Now, the thing is, I'm having a hard time while I scroll uh, through this website. And bear in mind, I'm in a computer with 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm trying to imagine someone with... Um, you know, I don't know, two, two gigs of RAM or four gigs of RAM. So maybe it's my computer today, I don't know. But the thing is, I'm not having a, a smooth experience. This is the part I like. I like, I always like this kind of color scheme when you have a light gray and then you have a, um, a white square with the logo. It's very nice this way because, you know, all logos have different uh, sizes and shapes. And this way it looks really organized. Now, um, not a fan of this font, this particular font, and I think there are a lot of different fonts on this page, which is also something that I usually I'm not too um, fan of. Let me open the navigation. Let's pick one page so you can look at another page. Okay, so um, Bulgari. I like this font here. I like the white space. It's a bit more or organized bit more to my taste, but let me know what you think. Now, one more page before we move on to the mobile version, and it's the services page. So as you can see, everything is moving and screaming for attention. And even though it's a trend for this year, I don't think that it's good when it comes to user experience. If you want someone to take an action and everything is moving, and at the same time, you have a hard time scrolling, maybe because of all the interaction, the videos on the page. Okay, now to the mobile version. As often, when it comes to the mobile version, um, asymmetrical design is not as bold as on the desktop version. So you can see it here. And honestly, yeah, same thing. I prefer when it's uh, organized or sometimes asymmetrical design is good in my opinion, but when it's more subtle and, and here it's just all in your face, very consistent with this year's trends, but not to my taste, just like for the desktop version. Okay, next, let's move to France with Catch Me. So uh, Catch Me are uh, actually recruiters. They're headhunters looking for talented people. And right out of the bat, you can see I'm still on the same computer and it's so smooth when I'm scrolling. So I just show you the previous website just like a moment ago, I'm still on the same computer and it was so hard to scroll. So the first point is that it's really smooth, a really nice experience. And I quite enjoy that. Now, going from the top, uh, I, I kind of like the logo, the branding. The um, message is really clear. So uh, they're looking for talents. Um, they're recruiters. 
and they're in the digital and IT industry. Now, there's a lot of micro interaction. As you can see, when I um, move the mouse, actually the bubbles interact. And also when I click on the menu, so this is the menu, we got that ripple effect. And I had a previous tutorial about that that I need to update, but that ripple effect is nice. And then when you hover over uh, the various elements, you have that interaction and that interaction was one of the key trends of 2019 it's still there in 2020 and sometimes it's not well done but in this case i think it's really really well done especially because the experience is so smooth uh, there's no loading time and it works well in my opinion now if we scroll down i like the subtle uh, parallax effects we have some uh, asymmetrical design but in this case, I, I feel like it works really well, even though I would prefer uh, another type of design, but still, I think it's it's just well done. It's just beautiful. The fonts are beautiful, the pictures, uh, the color scheme. This is really, this is a really well done design in my opinion. So once again, let me know what you think, but I really like the design language that they've, they've used here. Okay, let's take a look at another page. So we have page transitions and I kind of like that effect. We saw it last week um, in some of the examples, that effect where the text uh, is split between two and the color changes. In the other case, there were some parallax, but still here, it's really nice. So in that case, they also respect the trends of this year with gigantic and, and bold fonts. But in this case, in my opinion, the font is beautiful and because there's so much negative space, so much white space around, it works really, really fine. Now look at that font. Font is beautiful. The whole experience is really smooth. Now it might not look as smooth because you're watching this video uh, on YouTube and uh, actually exported the video with 25 frames per second. So you don't get to see that smooth scrolling uh, goodness but uh, you can go and, and have a look for yourself. Test it on your device and let me know what you think. I like the reveal effect of the footer here. Okay, now let's take a quick look at the mobile version, but all in all, it's the same experience. It's really clean. It looks just beautiful. It's really smooth. Okay, next let's move to Spain with a website called Revista El Duende. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So let's take a look at this website. So as you can see right out of the bat, it's gonna be asymmetrical design all the way. But guess what? I think here on the that first screen, I kind of like it, kind of dig it. Maybe um, because that font is so beautiful and the whole uh, screen is so clean that I just like it. So let me start scrolling. So like I said, uh, asymmetrical design all the way, but it kind of works well. I like the um, separation here in the middle. And then I don't know if you can see it on my screen, but there's a little mouse, uh, mouse pointer that follows the mouse, a little bubble, and it's quite smooth. It doesn't get in the way. So here we have some parallax. Okay, now let's take a look at the navigation. So if I click on the menu, I like that little uh, jelly effect, but that's really subtle, but it brings something in my opinion. I kind of like that. Now for the rest, when you hover over the various elements, the uh, background color changes. And I kind of dig that because you can actually use the colors to convey a message. And here when I move the mouse, you can see the pointer change in this little eyes when I hover over the various elements. I think it's quite funny. Maybe a bit gimmicky, but I mean, it doesn't get in the way too much and it's kind of consistent with the rest of the website. Okay, now to the mobile version. Um, the first thing I noticed is that it can be a bit hard to see the navicon, the navigation here. So it's on the top right. They put each bar in a different color, maybe to play with the contrast. For the rest, the navigation is even more beautiful here. On the mobile, the font is just uh, simply gorgeous. Now let's scroll down. And then something that I found really weird is to they try to implement the asymmetrical design on the mobile version. And if you have a large screen, okay, that's fine. But 
The screen state is so small on a mobile compared to a desktop that why would you want to waste another uh, space here? I mean, uh, horizontally. So if I take a small phone like the iPhone uh, 5 or the iPhone SE, it's even smaller. And I think this is a waste of space that you could use um, in a different way. Okay, next let's move to the United States with SDU Future Education. Now it says United States, but the domain name uh, extension is DK, which I think stands for Denmark. So let's take a look. Maybe the website was done by an agency or a designer in the States. So this is, this is it, SDU Future Education. So let's click on start. I'm just gonna skip the intro. So this one is really more <laughs> a game than a website. It's it's really fun. So first of all, you can play. So right now I'm playing with the arrows. So I'm looking backward, forward. Okay, and when I reach certain part of the virtual world, then I can get the content. So here I have the content. I can actually also drag. So here I'm clicking and dragging on the little robot and then I'm moving with the mouse and it works the same way. And if you're not comfortable with that or the, 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 the first option, here on the left hand side, you can also click on the little dots here and it's gonna go straight to where you wanna go. Which is good in my opinion, because honestly, when I mean, this is really nice, don't get me wrong. And technically it's a prowess, but when you're in a hurry and you actually want some information, you know which information you want, you don't want to start playing a video game. You just want the information. So kudos to them for providing the quick way to access the information. The, the font is quite nice. And basically, I uh, kind of understand why they <laughs> got that award. It's because, yeah, technically, it's not easy to do. This is beyond building a website. This is 3D environments and interaction. And also the design of the avatars themselves is really a piece of art, in my opinion, that not just regular um, characters. So this is really good. Uh, I also like the, um, the design language here that they've used. I think it's really clean and I really love that. Now let's click on the navigation. Navigation uh, is nice. It's quite uh, original. I kind of don't like that little part here. And it's funny because that's why it's original, but at the same time, that's the part I don't really like about it. But for the rest, I like the white space, uh, the nice font and the clear um, um, structure. So we get number one to four. So it's easy to understand. Now the weird thing is that if I click on any of the link, it's going to take me to another website, which has nothing to do with this website. And I found that a bit odd, especially because when I click on the link, I expect to stay on the same website. Otherwise, I expect you to tell me this is going out of the website. So I found that part quite weird. Okay, and now to the mobile version. So let's click on start. Once again, I'm going to skip the intro. And then, of course, on the phone, you can just touch the little robot with your fingers. And then you can stop wherever you want. And then you get the information. So here it's a podcast, for example. You can um, unfold the rest of the text. And when you are happy, you can just um, follow your journey. Okay, next, Salomon Lightham from the United States. So this is basically a um, website showcasing videos. So honestly, there's not much I can show you. It was also awarded an award. Maybe there's something I'm missing and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a bad looking website. I'm just wondering, maybe there's something I really missed about this website, but for the rest, the, um, the animated GIFs load really fast when you hover over the images. So that's really good. But for the rest, for the navigation, actually, we have two links. We have archive and information on the right hand side. So if I click on one of the videos, it's going to open the video page. And then if I want, I can just play it. I'm not going to play it here, obviously. But if I want, I can just play it. Initially, when I was here, uh, I was trying to go back home. Uh, when I say go back home, but go back to the home page. And I was expecting somewhere where I could see the, 
the home the home page button now i work in the web industry so of course i know that i'm going to click on the logo and that is going to take me back home but some people they don't really know that uh, even if many many people know how to do it usually it's a good practice to try to hint at where is the where is the home so of course if you click on the logo you get back uh, as you can see there's no icon everything is done with text so even the back to top as you can see here is made with text and now we can look at the mobile version and nothing really different except that the logo becomes um, just the first letter of each word and instead of being in the middle it's on the left hand side next let's move to brazil so we get the admira website and this is the first screen and i love that minimal bold beautiful so that's for the first part now when we start scrolling i still like that font and this is where asymmetrical design comes in <laughs> now you're going to say i'm obsessed with that but i like the way it's executed because it feels like you're on a sheet of paper and you're watching it sketches and it works well so when i talk about asymmetrical design usually what i don't like is just when you just try to do asymmetrical design for the sake of it but with, without really trying to make it look nice and here i think it works quite well even though of course i like when i have a grid like that i think it works nice i really love the the color scheme really easy on the eye light gray and white but I must say that the scrolling is not as smooth as some of the previous websites we've seen, but not as bad as the first one we reviewed. So that seems to be working good enough. The navigation is really beautiful. Um, now you may like or uh, dislike this font, but I like the navigation. It's got um, uh, transparency, so you can you can kind of see what's in the background, but it doesn't get in the way so that you can focus enough on the uh, navigation here and here we have a horizontal navigation which i'm not a fan of because my first i mean the first thing i try to do is to just scroll down then nothing happens then i need to interact still for the rest the design itself i think it's really nice i really like that and this is where things get complicated i mean so far i kind of i mean i liked it I still like it, but something I don't really like is that trend of scrolling text. Um, this is just personal. You may love it, but in my opinion, if I if I land on a page like this, I'm going to read and maybe I'm not going to pay attention to the rest. You know, uh, I don't really understand what's, what I need to do here, but what I know is something is bugging me and it makes me want to go out of that page. Now, I know this is a trend, this is a trend, so this is not a critique against the designers because they implemented the trend and it's really a trend for this year, as I mentioned before. But I'm still not a fan of it. Um, so yeah, this is the page I don't like on that website. But for the rest, the design itself is nice, except for the fact that I don't really understand why the page seems to be cut in half. It's like something is missing. Um, but for the rest, yeah clean looking website okay now to the mobile version so we have a loading screen first it's really clean i like the padding around the edges the pictures are quite stylish so of course it helps the navigation is just beautiful still with that transparency effect okay next let's move from brazil to canada with the iti website so this is iti website uh, IT intelligence, human intelligence. So first of all, the message, we're humans and IT experts. So the message is really clear. That's really good. That's really good. Now for the rest, when I start scrolling right out of the bat, I know that this is following this year's trends. So gigantic uh, fonts, really bold elements, uh, everything moving in all directions and yeah the boldness and the giant this is a giant accordion so the trends are well implemented 
Um, this is not something I would particularly do for a web design that I would do, but in terms of originality for a corporate website, because this is really a corporate website. So it's quite, yeah, it's quite original because most corporate websites are boring. And here you may like it or dislike it, but you don't get bored. So uh, kudos to them for doing that. Everything is a uh, giant, like the let's talk button is giant. The text is giant. Uh, let's click on let's talk. I'm sure it's going to be giant. And yes, uh, it's giant. So there is a lot of consistency here. It's really bold. Maybe it conveys a message also in the subconscious mind about that company. But for the rest, the color scheme is nice. Uh, the blue color, of course, is really, really corporate. Uh, we have a regular navigation here with a mega menu or drop down menu, but that looks more like a mega menu. But then I don't really understand why there's nothing on the side. Actually, I'm saying that, but I do understand why. Instead of having a regular drop down that would be just the size of this text, because they have that design language with giant bold stuff, they want to have this big drop down and not have the just the narrow one that we used to see on old school websites. So I kind of understand that. Maybe, um, I don't know, maybe I would have put something in the background, but really lightweight so that it adds a bit more because here it feels like uh, they forgot to add something or there's a visual bug but maybe that's something they wanted to do so i um, not sure about that but just my personal opinion so here when I scroll this kind of a play with scroll and to be honest it's annoying because I'm just trying to move past this and it's like I have to force and then finally finally uh, I'm able to scroll but for the rest, once again, really consistent design, really bold and giant. And um, I'm just going to repeat myself, but for a corporate website, I kind of like that they took that uh, direction uh, because it's risky. You know, it's not the usual corporate website. So here we have a Navicon and when you click, you have that semi full screen. Well, it's like 70% of the, the screen. And here we have a bit more elements. Um, so I prefer that compared to this one here. At least this is a, it's a bit more impactful visually. And the last talk is really, really big. We can't miss it, which is probably uh, the call to action that they want to provoke on this website, which makes sense. Okay, now the mobile version. And the mobile version is cleaner in my opinion. And that's because... Well, on a mobile, you have less uh, you have less screen real estate, so we need to do things a bit differently. And if everything was so giant, then people would have to scroll for years. So things are still big and bold, but in my opinion, it's way nice, nicer than the desktop version. I'm not saying the desktop version is not nice, but I much prefer the experience on the mobile personally. Now the navigation is a bit more organized because of course it's vertical so it looks more organized than the desktop version and you can still see the big let's talk um, here at the bottom although it may get lost because it feels like the navigation was open and then there's uh, a little bit of uh, spacing left at the bottom but for the rest it works really fine Okay, before I reveal which one I ranked number one this week, just pause this video and let me know in the comments which one you prefer and also why you prefer that website. So, are you ready? And if you know anything about my channel, you probably know which one I ranked number one. And this week's winner is... Catch Me. Like I said, it's it works really nicely um, with all the elements. It's really smooth, the message is clear, they implemented asymmetrical design and all the other trends with a lot of taste, uh, beautiful fonts, uh, great interactions, subtle interactions, but that adds something to the experience, a consistency in the design language, and nice navigation, and once again, those interactions. And it works well also when you're on the mobile. So as you can see, still as smooth, love the navigation and that uh, ripple effect. So beautiful website in my opinion, and that's why I chose for this week. Now, which one did you choose? 
So question of the day, which one was your number one? Please let me know in the comments and also let me know why. Now, I hope that you got the value out of this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really, really helps growing the channel. And if you know someone that could benefit from it, please share it now. Now, if you want more web design inspiration videos and tutorials, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Oh, and by the way, if you want a killer brand identity for yourself or for your clients, I created a free brand identity guidelines template that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was built for Affinity Designer, but you can actually use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you're interested, just go to casino.com forward slash branding. So that's it for this episode. I'll be happy to see you in the next one. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.